Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com, and I want to quickly show you how to fix Java's could not find or load main class error. Now, first I'm going to trigger that error, and then I'll show you how to solve it. I've got a jar file here called rps.jar, and I've got PowerShell opened up to the folder in which it resides, and I'm going to trigger that error by just saying java jar rps.jar, and boom, when I click enter, could not find or load main class, class not found exception. So that's the error, how do you fix it? Okay, here's the first thing you can do. Open up your jar file in a tool like WinZip or 7-Zip and open up the metinf folder. And first of all, you have to have a manifest.mf file. If you don't, well, that will trigger the could not find or load main class error. So you got to have that to start off with, but that's not good enough. I'm going to open this file. You also have to have this main class entry. Okay. If you don't have that main class entry, the could not find or load main class error will trigger. And that main class has to point to a class that has a main method and acts as the entry point of your application. And you can see here I'm pointing at desktop game, but if I actually dig into this jar file, you'll notice that the file is actually called desktop game, not desktop game X. So that's the problem. The problem has to do with the fact that I've misconfigured this manifest file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this manifest file, click save, close the file, update the jar file, and then come back to PowerShell and run that same command again and watch what happens. Boom, all of a sudden I've got a fun little rock, paper, scissors application running and I can say rock here, I can say paper, and there we go. This looks like a fun little Java application to play. Now, that is one way to solve this problem. Here's another way to solve it. Let's imagine you don't have an, a manifest file at all. So I'm just going to completely delete that manifest file. You can actually explicitly point to a main class by using the java-classpath option, point to your jar file, rps.jar, and then specify the name of the class that acts as the entry point. So for me, that's com.mcnz.rps.desktop game. And notice that the switch is dash CP. It's not dash jar. You're actually saying, I want to look into the RPS jar file, put that on the class path, and then run the desktop game. I'll click enter. And boom, all of a sudden, this application works just like it did before, except I haven't used the Java jar switch. I use the Java CP switch. And there you go. That is how you solve that particular could not find or load main class error in Java. Make sure that you've got that manifest file. Make sure you've got the main class entry. Make sure the main class entry points to a file that actually exists and has a main method and acts as the entry point of your application. And if all else fails and you can't add that manifest file to the jar file, you can just use that class path option and point to the entry point of your application. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there, and we've got lots of great tutorials on Java, enterprise development, microservices, DevOps, Git, GitHub, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter. And one other thing, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?